else I want to run some by you um, this is uh, an upgrade I'm gonna do to my truck and that would be the projector I'm gonna install the uh, LED projector the full uh, LED by lamp projector which which means it's gonna have the both the part of my hands I've been working all day both the um, high beams and low beams this is gonna be the wire for the shutters which is gonna connect to the battery wire this is the Kessler make sure you don't have the um, light for the bulb out and it's just pretty much a full size 3 inch uh, G5 projector and this is the factory projector and what you're going to be looking at right here try to catch it so you see the chrome there is completely burnt out and overall the halogen bulb projector is just in my opinion is inferior because it's 2024 so there's many options available um, I had a custom Ooh, where are you going? I'm going nowhere no more. I'm going trash can. Okay, so I had a custom shop, local shop, uh, 3D print me some brackets, and this is supposed to be um, heat resistant. So LED in itself, it doesn't get really hot. It gets it gets pretty warm to the touch, but it doesn't get uh, crazy hot. So anyway, so this is what the one I'm going to go with. It mounts right in this factory location. Um, I have the truck here. Okay, so I got my truck here. Uh, the front end is disassembled. So what I'm doing right now, I already got it installed on the passenger side headlight. Everything retrofitted fine. I'm gonna work on this on the driver's headlight now, which is gonna be fairly easy. Uh, so you can actually uh, see the grill removal is, is super easy. It's gonna be a bunch of clips. You remove the uh, plastic trim on top, and it's gonna be um, just. A bunch i think four or five tens on top of the grill you get the grill out of the way here's the grill okay sitting right there um and at that point you're gonna everything's gonna be uh you know wide open you're gonna see some bolts it's gonna be a 10 millimeter right there in that area and two tens on top one ten right there and one ten right there and there's gonna be also a 10 on the side for the headlight that's gonna uh, pretty much at this point you will just lift the tab there's a tab out there just lift it up and uh, the headlights gonna come out you just unplug it and you're gonna be uh, I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do with this one in just a minute but that's that's the headlight removal is fairly simple on these trucks so, so I want to just uh, brief you on a couple things so the projector is installed just a bunch of torques uh, torque screws there factory torques uh, everything is connected. It connects to the factory um, H11 female uh, connector there. And then I ran the wires to the shutter for the for this uh, projector. And I tap light to light, I guess uh, dark to dark. And once I hit the high beams, this pretty much. Um, the shutter drops and and it works with the uh, with the like a like a high beam here and high beam at the factory location as well. So at this point, I'm ready to put the covers back on uh, upper bottom and uh, I'm gonna wipe everything off on this truck. I'm gonna wipe everything off on the truck and you know the edges where the headlight goes in and connect it. Uh, turn the truck on, make sure there's no lights on, make sure everything's operating as, as intended, shutters and such, and uh, the truck's gonna be ready. I'm gonna test drive it for a couple days, make sure everything's good, but I think we should be in a good shape. Um, and hopefully I'll be able to see at night. I actually made, took a picture yesterday with the factory lights on against my garage door, so tonight's gonna be a picture with the upgraded lights. And hopefully this all works out fine, and I'll be able to see and uh, Ray Charles no more. Okay, this is it. High beams, low beams, everything put together. Uh, I'm, I'm about to clean the light and throw it back.